everybody what is good how you doing this is your guy taz with taz and philly came here to give you what you come here for reactions this is a special reaction and it's special why because it's my damn reaction <laughs> what i mean what i mean by that is like 99 percent of the time the reactions that we do are from you awesome subscribers aka fantastics but every once in a while philly or myself or I, as he likes to emphasize to me, um, like to do a reaction to either something that we might see as trending or something that we heard someone say off camera or whatever or off the channel mentioned about, so we want to check it out. Um, or someone that we personally know and love, well, not personally, but that we know and love in general in the, on the musician level. So this is that situation. Now, I have not heard this song before yet, surprisingly, but I know and love and adore Kelly Clarkson. I was the person who was on season one or watching season one of American Idol. And back then when I was able to vote, because I was home at that time when it was on, I voted. Every single week I voted for her and I cheered her on and I hoped and prayed that she would win. And she won. And I'll never, ever forget for anybody that might be watching this that knows me, at that time, they say, because that was the first season of American Idol, they said, oh, she's going to be a one hit wonder. She's, you know, and that's it. And I just didn't believe it. I was like, I was like, I was like, if she's represented right, I was like, she cannot be a one hit wonder because she's just that great. So many people said, oh, she be a one hit wonder. So, of course, I'm the type of person because I'm Taz. I occasionally rub into people's face to this day. Oh, did you hear that new song by that one hit wonder? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, I don't know if you'll ever see this reaction. There's probably a gabillion trillion reactions about you, but I have always admired you and adored you and believed in you since day one, and I always wish you continuous success, and thank goodness you have continuous success. You do so many things, even besides music. Um, it's music-related, and you have a kind heart, and you're just fun-loving. You know, you seem like you're really cool to vibe out with in person. Um and I just wish the best about you. So I'm glad you were not a one-hit wonder, and you're just a wonder. Uh, so this is a dedication then to Kelly Clarkson from, I don't want to say one of your biggest fans, even though I just said it because so many people probably say that, but someone who's believed in you since the day you were first on camera, and I'm happy that I was right that you are where you are today. So this song is called Mine. Haven't heard it yet. It said stripped live. I thought I'd do that because a lot of times a stripped version of a song has more depth. Not saying that the original one doesn't, but you know what I mean, if you know what stripped down is with music. So um, we represent music appreciation. So please make sure that you support these artists on this channel that we represent. At first, I was shocked when I realized she wasn't subscribed to us. But then I realized this is our Taz and Philly YouTube channel on my personal YouTube channel. I subscribed to her like 8,000 years ago. <laughs> but I love to exaggerate my numbers, by the way. So on our Taz and Philly channel, we've never reacted to her on the channel, which I'm shocked. But um, well, as I said, most of the time we do what you request. So this is Kelly Clarkson's actual channel. I'm hitting subscribe and I'm hitting like. Now it's official. Now she's liked on all of the channels that I'm a part of. So Please make sure that you do the same. Let's represent music appreciation. I have the links to her in our descriptions like we do with all of our videos. So you can easily go there. That was painless, free, and quick to support these musicians. But support us second. Please smash our notifications and subscribe to us and get those notifications uh, from us. We really appreciate that to help us out in the YouTube algorithms. So, oh, and also further, if you can, if you love our music, Go a step further and purchase it on Spotify, whichever vehicle that she uses. She's just amazing. At this point in time, it's been like over 20 years. If you don't know Kelly Clarkson, at least know her name. Maybe if you never heard her song, you should start. Her voice is just beyond. So um, I don't normally like to assume, but I can't imagine I won't like this song. But if for some reason it's just, it happens, I'll let you know because we keep it real here. It's just my opinion, of course. But I have high hopes. So in any event, this is Kelly Clarkson singing a song, Mine. I'll commentate more afterwards. So here we go.
You know I question every motive, everything you say Thought with you maybe my heart wasn't meant to break Can't believe I let you in, I can't believe I stayed As long as I stayed, yeah I hope one day someone will take your heart and hold it tight Make you feel like you're invincible deep inside And right when you think that it's perfect, they cross a line and steal your shine like you did mine Go ahead and break my heart, that's mine So unkind Turn the sunshine of the spotless mind Oh, love is blind Why am I missing you tonight? Was it all a lie? Someone's gonna show you Can guess my thoughts every step I take I'm losing hope and love and I've lost all in faith You're for a dreamer, I just close my eyes and it's all blank I have you to thank, yeah I hope one day someone will take your heart and hold it tight Make you feel like you're invincible deep inside and Right when you think that you'll try again They cross a line and steal your shine like you did mine Go ahead and break my heart, that's mine So unkind Turn no sunshine of a spotless mind Oh, love is blind Why am I missing you tonight? Is it all a lie? Someone's gonna show you I got a little choked up there. Um, it's it's the wow, it's the beauty of music. It's the beauty of music. The power of music. This is a perfect example of um. Oh my god. This is the <clears throat> this is the perfect example of why I love music. Why we represent on this channel music appreciation. Because music moves you in so many different ways. Happy, sad, um, real, um, relatable, um, anger, you know, all the type of emotions that we all possess. Some there's songs out there that address that. Um, and we need that. Um, whether it's to feel good or whether it's to cleanse ourselves, or whether it's to realize we're not alone, or whether it's a like a, a aha moment and stuff like that, or whether it's um, I said healing, I think therapeutic. So, and that's exactly what this song was. Oh my God. I didn't expect that. Um, as I said, many times besides music, I hate surprises, but when it comes to music, excuse me, when it comes to music, I love surprises because you never know what you're going to expect. I had zero clue, zero. I was going to press play on this damn song and a little bit of water fall out of my face. 
but it happened. Um, the lyrics were powerful, but her voice was piercing. Like when she hit those, I don't know if you call it a shrill. I'm not a musical person, and I forget sometimes what you awesome, fantastic say they're called in the comments. So I'm sorry. Um, there's a lot of comments that I read through and respond to as much as I can, and Philly does too. Um, but she hit certain like shrills or, or 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 piercing tones, like 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 when she said that you did mine part, and it cut me to the core because you felt the pain and the angst and the the despair at the time that was probably she was going through it. Because I'm sure, I'm sure as she was singing this song, she had reminiscent feelings of the time she was going through stuff. This is obviously about breakups. And I know she had a bad breakup um, with her marriage. Um, and this was a song that was evident to that. This was her healing thing. Like, there's many ways that people seek therapy because we're human. Let's not, I mean, put your ego aside and blah, 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 and how you were raised and blah, blah, blah. There's no shame in the game if you're going through some shit and you need to heal. Some people can go to like a therapist and that's totally fine. Um, but some people who have the gift of music, the gift of song can give you it through music. Thank goodness she can do that. She can sing through her pain, through her frustration, through her, through her overcoming something. Um, and that was evident in this song. She talked about how she talked about karma and she basically hopes he gets the same feeling that she held had when her heart is held and then all of a sudden you just break it um it was so evident in that song and there's nothing wrong with that if somebody's done you dirty and they made you feel some type of way especially in this situation you're in love and whatever happens and you just did what you did and and, and it's and it's over you have every right to be pissed off about it um you know, not everything you can just say, oh, that's OK. And just brush it off your shoulder and things of that nature, it's, especially if it's not your fault. Like, so I love this song because it's very, very relatable. Um, and we need to know sometimes that we're not alone. Oh, she's been through the same ish, as I also like to call it, that I've been through. Um, or good for you, Kelly. Good for you for getting this off your chest. And if he hears this song, which I can't imagine how you can outrun it. Hopefully it'll resonate with him and hopefully the next person, you know, it won't happen to. And this isn't just pinpointed at her ex. This is pinpointed at anybody who is in the situation of breaking someone's heart. That maybe you'll think twice and not mess up the second time. Um, now, I don't know the full deets because I'm not in everybody's business like that. But nonetheless, a heart was broken. Hers was. I just love her music. I just love the way she moves you. Um, and I'm a big person on loving the whole band and, and especially the backup singers. Like, I actually get annoyed. <laughs> I'll say this. I actually get annoyed when I watch, like, American Idol and The Voice and all those shows. And even, like, even like a regular already professional singer who's singing on stage, like, at the Grammys or something, and they have background singers and when the song's over, they never turn around or say thank you to the background singers or anything like that. And that actually pisses me off because, first of all, you're not singing alone. Secondly, many songs, depending on how they're presented, that background voices really add the depth and the feeling. I know Kelly's is one that thanks her backup singers and stuff. And I know that I think there's clips or something of her on YouTube or whatever going around town singing with people. Um and I love that. And then on her, like her Kelly Clarkson show, she has her band that she always gets props to. So she's, she takes care of them. But um, this song was very powerful, magnified, because she had her, they weren't even background singers. They were foreground singers or front ground singers. They were basically side by side with her. So I noticed that. That was very, very beautiful. But they really add that depth to her pain. It's like It's like hoisted her up, like you're not alone speak your truth and that's what she did that really got me to the core um i hope this song moved you in some way 
even if you can't relate to this, like hopefully your heart was never broken, but you should at least know what it feels like. Or maybe, you know, somebody whose heart was broken and you could resonate with that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My throat's getting dry talking. Kelly Clarkson is just magnificent. As I said, not only is she a marvelous, marvelous singer, she doesn't just sing a song. She gives you the feeling of the song. She becomes the song. She becomes the extended version of the microphone. And that's a powerful thing. Not everybody, I feel, has that gift. There are people out there who have great voices and can sing very well, but you don't feel that emotion necessarily when they sing. When she does, you feel it. And that was a beautiful song. Now, I, I'm going to hear off camera the non-stripped-down version. But since this is the first thing I've heard was a stripped-down version of mine, I love this. Um, and it's such a tender, emotional song that's very visceral at the same time as being tender um, that I like the stripped-down version. Um, so, yeah, let us know in the comments what you think about it. So um, I don't know what else to say can't believe a little water fell out of my face doesn't happen often it just happens and you should always feel you should always open up your, your heart and your your brain when you're listening to music to receive it and see where, see where it takes you so in any event this comes to the part of our show we always do our thumbs up pass if we like a song thumbs down ass if we don't <laughs> if you don't know by now thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up i'm even gonna kiss that Adore you, Kelly Clarkson. Wish you the best. I hope you're never any future pain in a relationship. Hopefully not. Um, this is Taz with Taz and Philly, and I want you to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow.